you know, where to start. Uh, and I don't know whether you see this uh, collage here behind us. I think, uh, isn't it fantastic that uh, not, not, uh, Jamie Cooper's done a great job, but uh, really, when you look through it all, it uh, just depicts uh, the ca characters and all the players. And, I, and I've spoken to a few people in the audience, and by the way, thank you very much, on behalf of the players, you know, you're, uh, thanks very much for coming this evening. It's just wonderful to see you. It was a great, great time, wasn't it? 84, 83, 84, 85. Fantastic. And, uh, you know, to see the old, uh, you know, uh, Frankie Donnell over there grabbing cheese by the shoulder, mate. Look, I deserve a game, mate. You've got to get me in. You've got to find a spot for me in that bloody grand final. And he got there. And just right over in the far corner, up there, his name was always, already mentioned there this evening, and uh, you got a little budgerigar sitting on the top of uh, uh, Kevin Sheedy's locker there that's been smashed to pieces by Merv. A bit upset after training there one night. He, he probably had a point. But uh, you got the little budgie sitting up there, so you're, you're, you're never too far away from the action, budge. And, uh, and then, of course, our little favourite and, and uh, my vice captain, Timmy Watson. Sitting on the lamb's wool, sitting on the lamb's wool on the rub down table, as spoiled as ever, just sitting there. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have a rub down without the, the, uh, the wool being laid out there, and uh, he was pampered, looked after beautiful. Look at Daisy there, puffing on a cigarette, just like Hawker and Vander. Where are we going tonight? Is it the underground or is it bloody uh, chases? We're going somewhere. They've they got it all worked out, you know. And then the old spitter. He, he just, uh, when he, as soon as he come in, you know, he got carried off on a stretcher, as you will remember. He just shook his head, ladies and gentlemen, and he was into the champagne. As soon as he had the sniff of champagne and beer, he got up and got going. Look at me little mate Shep, Sparrow. He's got his hands on the cup there. That's Shane Hurd, by the way. There, just holding up the trophy, and uh, I think it uh, don't mind me me pouring a bit of champagne in. Nobby Clark, we've seen some great highlights of him earlier. Fantastic play, did a great job on Lee Matthews there for a period of time in the 84. Look at young Mark Harvey. He wasn't allowed to drink, but he'd been drinking since the age of 14. But he had, he had no problems, halves. There's no worries about that. And, uh, and the best depiction of all is Billy Duckworth standing out the front, got that hawk by the throat. And uh, he's, he's in for a big night, Billy. And of course, little Bluey, Stan, having a great time. The old trout, as Kevin said, come across from Melbourne. We needed a bit of zip and uh, just finally to get your hands on that bloody cup. And fish has never got shorter. Have you met fish tonight? I think you've, you've put on another couple of centimetres, fish. We are, we've shrunk. But it's just, uh, it's just it was great to see fish get, get in there and play in the premiership with us. And he, he, he uh, was cut down in 84, as we all know, with an E. And, uh, but he uh, bounced back, got back in and kicked six goals for us in that 85 grand final to be a, a great play for us. Uh, Big Rog, Big Rog has had his battles of late, but uh, what a super player was he in our two premiership uh, wins. And, uh, and I, I do remember uh, Big Rog, there must have been three Hawthorne blokes there and there, he just stretched up and took that mark and the goal square and I, and I was up the back line here with Foles and I go, oh, have a look at this, this is, this is great stuff. And he drove it through and my little old mate Bakes here, I don't know what you're doing mate, did, uh, did you, uh, Weston owe you a bit of money? I'm not too sure but uh, Weston, as we know, Paul Weston, as Kev told you, we got him across from uh, Glenelg in South Australia and uh, he was probably known as wealth. He always wanted to be he always thought about the big picture, how yeah, I can make be a millionaire and do all that sort of stuff. But oh, by Jesus, he was a millionaire in that bloody grand final, and he the ball landed in his hands, and he got that little kick around. She you know, dribbles through, and then he got that handball over. It was fantastic. But what about what about Bakes? Oh, mate, it was just tremendous to see Bakes and Billy, you know. And uh, look, it was uh, it was a fabulous side, you know. Uh, and a, and a great time. We went through the hard yards, and we went through it with you guys, and uh, 
you know, elimination after elimination. We've won matches, and uh, but we had a good time doing it. A bloody good time doing it. And uh, as you do, you get a bit older and a bit wiser. And uh, and we, we, next minute we got into a second semi, and then we won a prelim, and then by the geez, you know, we're, we're in a grand final in '83. We won all the way through from the uh, elimination final. Bang, bang, bang. We got there. We're there, boys. How you going, Gazza? Gary Fall. Oh, I said, I'm fresh. How you going, Rog? He said, I'm right. Banda? Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Feel good. And we get out there and they just pummeled us. Fucking smashed us, boy. We got out there and tried our best. We tried our best, but we just run out of petrol tickets, you know? A bit like the, the boys from last weekend. But, uh, but uh, Kev, I'll always remember in the Hilton after that game, and some of you might have been there, and, and Kev was filthy, and, uh, and uh, he said, if I catch any one of you blokes smile tonight, particularly the players, look out, you know, you're not, you know, you're not, don't come back, don't come back next year. And I said, oh, come on, Kev, you'll have a bloody, uh, you've got to have a bit of a grin, she's all over, mate, you got to. But uh, we got out and had a few beers, but it really, it really hit home. It was uh, a real kick in the, in the guts for us as a team. And, uh, and you know what? Thank God we got a second chance and we kept moving up, kept moving up the ladder. And then we got a bit closer and, uh, and, uh, and we got into 84. We got another chance. How about that? Another bloody chance to uh, make amends, you know, and uh, give you something, you guys. And uh, we got out there. But shit, it, was, it wasn't easy. And... Uh, you know, 20 odd points down at three quarters, as we all know. And uh, Big Simon got his hands on the, on the nut, got it down to Daisy. What about Daisy Williams? He yeah, just got it there and banged it along down the middle. And uh, wow, it was bloody good. And, uh, and we just started to get things rolling, you know. And then, buddy, uh, uh, Tim was solid as ever. And then uh, Daisy Williams, and, uh, and then it brought Merv Nagel and Peter Bradbury and all these guys, Kev made a couple of moves there that worked for us and all of a sudden we got rolling and uh, we pegged them back and, uh, and we got over the line in the end. And uh, the great thing about the next year, you know, there's a couple of boys, didn't quite come up, but it'd give, some, it'd give a couple of other guys a chance to come in and get their opportunity and, uh, you know, like the big fish and, uh, and Stan Carey and, and a few of these boys, it was just great. Now, I know there's some, there's always someone who misses out. But they, they were just as much a part of it as what you know, the guys were that ran out in that day. We were just a tight-knit group, but it was a marvellous time. And I'll finish off by saying that, uh, you know, it, it, you know uh, I, I get the opportunity, and this is Essendon as a footy club, and uh, to get out. And I've been very fortunate to go out and have a couple of lunches with our 65. Yeah, a few beers, a few reds, all that. Uh, <laughs> big parcel of that. And so is Van and all the boys. Yeah, yeah, you, gotta, you feel good when you've been invited to shows. And uh, the 65 boys, you know, like you've got to remember, that was our last premiership before we won 84, 85. So it was a long, long time between drinks, 19 odd years. And, uh, but these guys every month get together, Bluey Shelton and Barry Capuano and, uh, and all those boys. They sit down there, bring their wives, and it's just fantastic to be with them. We've got to start doing it. That's, that's what, you know, your premiership plays, you, you bond together. We've got to start, uh, you know, doing that sort of stuff because it's a, there's a lot of hard work went into it, you know, into winning it. And uh, we've been through the journey together. And, uh, and uh, but uh, what else have I got to say? Uh, <laughs> not much more, but it was, uh, it was a wonderful, yeah, wonderful period, that, that, that period. And I'll finish up by saying... Yeah, just beware, Sunday. I reckon the Bombers, yeah, watch out, Hawks. I just got that feeling. I just got that bloody feeling. I hope, Harbs, you're right tonight. You freshened them up you, you, and uh, they're ready to go because I'm going on Sunday, along with all of us. We're going to watch the boys and uh, I reckon I've got a good feel about it. They should have won last week. They win last week and they're a top four side. Hey, it's only that bit. It's only that, that much. So uh, stick by them. You get out there and barricade on Sunday. Let's get them over the line. Thanks very much.